What is going on guys? And we are staying in the festive spirit. Actually, hold on. Okay, now we're in the festive spirit. And we are going to be making a cranberry mojito. It's festive because it's got cranberries in it. And for this, you can either have cranberry juice or you can make your own cranberry simple syrup. And I recommend doing the cranberry simple syrup. I made it like previously and we're going to cut to me showing you how to make it now. So yeah, it's like the second time in a row that I'm by the stove top. But you know, it never usually happens, does it? That's weird. But yeah, this is just making the uh, cranberry simple syrup. Which is a cup of sugar, a cup of water, and 200 grams of cranberries. So then basically you need to put it on a medium heat, let the water start to simmer. Once it starts to simmer, bring it down to a low medium heat, and then keep it at that for 10 minutes. Okay, so it is now off the heat. There you go. 10 minutes is up. Some of the berries are going to burst, at least some of mine burst. So we're just going to assume that that's just what happens. And yeah. We're gonna let it cool down. You can like let it cool down and then as soon as it's cool, pour it. Or you can let it cool down overnight. Whichever you like. And it'll just like I think the longer you let it cool down the more like flavour seeps in. But I think like just let it cool down and then as soon as it's cool, pour it in, you're gonna be fine. It's not you're not gonna be missing much. And that is how I made it. Like I'd recommend doing it like this way, because it tastes way better. But that's so you need the cranberry simple syrup. White rum, mint, a lime, well half a lime, and soda water. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, limey squeezy. Okay, so we are going to start off by first with the mint. Need 8 or 10 leave, mint leaves in this. I'm going to cut this bit because I always like speed up me putting the mint leaves in. Just trust me that there's 8 or 10 in there. Or 9. Who knows. I need half a line. There we go. Just juice it. Put it in. Now we muddle the lime and the mint together, nice and gently. There we go. Just want to do it nice and gently, like you'll know when it's starting to muddle because you get the flavor, like the smells, and the flavors. The flavors? Just the smell. You won't get the flavors unless you lick it. So that, there you go. Then it's all muddled. It's in the lime juice, the mint. It's good. Okay, now we add the ice, and now we add the uh, cranberry simple syrup. And actually, like, I made a drink last night, so what I'm gonna be rating it on is gonna be from last night and this night. So you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna find out if it's, you know, good for more than one day. But yeah, it actually fills up to right here, which is about 300 mil. So you can like be able to make multiple drinks out of it. So we have 60 mil of uh, the cranberry simple syrup. There you go. It was a lovely red. And of course, you know, red and green, because the, the green is provided by the mint. That you get, like, you know, it's Christmassy. So 60ml of uh, cranberry simple syrup. 60ml of rum. White rum. There you go. And then just top it off with some soda water. There you go. And then because I've got some cranberries left over, a lovely bit of garnish at the tops of one of the mint leaves. There you go. Bit of that. Stick in a very festive straw. And boom, and there you go. That is the cranberry mojito. Perfectly festive, lovely to drink. Right? And look, layers. Layers. We all like that, don't we? I mean, you know, you don't have to use cranberries as a garnish or the mint. I'm basically doing it because it looks good in the thumbnail, so... There. Now let's give you a better look, a nice closer look. There you go. Hey. 
It looks good, doesn't it? It looks good. There we go. Nice, good stuff. It's really nice. It is. It's like, it's sweet. Which is just like, great. Like, if you want like a nice sweet drink, then this is it. Like, I thought the, like, the cranberries would have given it a bit bitter. But it's not, you can barely taste the rum. It's nice, it's minty, it's refreshing. I fully recommend it. It is nice, like, obviously I'm gonna recommend these because, I mean, I made them. But seriously, like, it is nice. I, I tend to pick the ones that I think I'm gonna like. Every now and again we'll do an experimental one, like last week was a bit experimental and it turned out pretty well. The week before that, yeah, not so much. But this, like, you can't go wrong with a mojito. And if you want like a nice festive mojito version, then this is it. So, yeah, let's give it a 7 out of a 10. I would make this again. Which is, you know, that's the benchmark. And next week it's going to be quite an experimental one. But I think you're gonna like it. I'm gonna like it. You're gonna like it. Everybody's gonna like it. For being confident, but yeah. So stay tuned for next week. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Peace, love, and hugs. And I'll see you when you see me.